guys so in today's video i'm gonna bring you to a gampong glam that's located about four kilometers away from our hotel but we try to find that one without using any internet Let's join to the video with me and today is more than two months I'm being on YouTube and I have 33 subscribers. Thank you Because we are heard in Gam Gampong Glen, there's a very beautiful uh, Muslim temple there So that's the reason why we are heading there to have a look at that temple now it's 9 a.m. in the morning and it's quite busy on the street now. <coughs> okay, I'm not sure why. Sometimes getting lost in Singapore is very fun because you're actually never lost. The architecture is here. They look just like in another world. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where's the Arab Street? Arab Street. Ah, over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Muslim temple just in front of us now and I don't think that is what we are looking for because I've seen on the photo which is um, more regal so we keep exploring to find that one okay so as you can see uh, the street here is very nice yeah, very good condition and even people this is a peak hour in here but uh, everything is very smooth there's no traffic jam here I reckon because most of the people they use the MRT to travel to work okay we're still looking for the place that is appearing on the internet which is beautiful temple and we can see that from the far We have seen the smaller one, but I don't think that is the one. Excuse me, do you know where is a Glampong Glam? Kampong Glam? Ah. Uh, let me have an idea. We are looking for the temple over there, which is... The temple? Yeah, the uh, Muslim temple. There's no only Uh, hold on. Uh. That's one it doesn't look like on the internet, because we have seen the more beautiful ones. All the way in the back of this uh, is it let me show you it's all the way straight about 200 meters walk uh, okay so you just walk all the way and then you find a tea junction over there uh, thank you thank you so okay. much goodbye time to gather juice orange juice to get vitamin for the day 
Knock knock. <laughs> Street, not the tall buildings, but the, in front of us now. So we are going to walk inside the path over there, small lane, to see more about the culture of uh, the people who live here. for the uh, Muslim temple which is with the golden things on the rooftop <laughs> because we have seen the rooftop a bit so I think we are there already Arab Street ladies and gentlemen Ooh, okay, that's the things I'm talking about. Oh, it's quite a busy street. Okay. Oh, here we go. Rob Street and this is a temple I was talking about okay we finally here okay so it's more beautiful in the photo so walking here is completely free just about three four kilometers away from my hotel so my hotel is quite a uh, very good location dollars this is a very famous tourist attraction that's the reason why very early morning but uh, plenty of tourists here to throw away the garbage otherwise the punishment here is very expensive okay I reckon this is the best part of uh, Singapore Now we're getting closer to the temple. <laughs> Turkish restaurant, okay. You actually can find anything, any kind of restaurant. I just have seen a Vietnamese restaurant in the corner. Now we 
get closer and closer. Okay, there are plenty of tourists here taking photo of the temples. of the souvenirs that you can buy with the sign of Singapore, the Lion City and yeah, the Malayan okay, so I'm gonna take um, 10 of these because a lot of my friends waiting at home and they ask for us uh, for the uh, gift so I'm gonna give them this as the gift In Vietnam, if I would buy something, I definitely uh, try to knock off the price, but I don't think it works here. But I'll try my best. Okay, so because I'm very short on in information about these temples, but you can read the history here. written in English as well okay this area called Kampong Glen Heritage the shop here sells a lot of things which is I've never seen before uh, this one is you know but I mean this kind of things <laughs> okay, can we take this? Yeah. Three dollar. Thank you. Only one? Yeah, only one. street is very engaging yeah, this camera is trying to get the juice from the guy in the picture So this is a 3D map of the Arab street. So this is Kampong Gelem in 1920s and in 1930s. Okay. But now, after nearly 100 years, everything has changed. It's a big change. Yep. So this is Kampong Gelem in 2023 with a lot of skyscrapers surroundings okay times change everything and in every in every um, stone here you see a different photo a different picture and sure there's a lot of history behind it there's so many trees here 
even it's very early in the morning and today is a really a scorcher day the gate also impressive Aladdin jewels. I love Singapore. Yes, I do. <laughs> Just doing our up street because this is very engaging. <laughs> okay, the street is gorgeous and the people are very friendly here. That's the reason why uh, I love traveling to Singapore. <laughs> So the gate, the second gate is just on the right hand side. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the second gate. Okay, it's written not in English. So Okay, so the 3D picture is on the wall, which is also very engaging. It's pretty awesome, right? I believe this area is especially for local. Okay, so uh, compare this to um, Sapa where I live. So maybe this is a village.
thêm bánh trung thu ấy. Wow, nó chuẩn bị chặn bánh trung thu sao nhà mình hai người ăn bánh trung thu nhỉ? <cười> mình cứ ăn mà thì còn ăn cái no được. Đây có các món rau với các thứ. Đây đấy. Tôi nhá. Tôi cảm ơn điên rồi luôn hàng. Gọi rau với sườn thôi đừng. Sợ bên này dùng xăm cá chắc Có ấy. Cái đấy là cái gì? Đây, cái này là cơm suất Hả? À, à, à bánh... dìm xăm đây này Bánh với... Uh... Dìm xăm đây Cái gì vậy? Botanic Gardens, UNESCO World Heritage. Okay, we're gonna walk inside. Free volunteer guide tour. Okay, so it says that inside has a lot of wild animals okay this is a signpost which is quite uh, useful it's a non-smoking area and with the animals we have to put them on leash <coughs> Chalice Garden okay. 
It's a chillest garden. Okay, go for this one. In Singapore, most of the national park and things in the nature is free, completely free. But the squirrel just now just scared me because you now just suddenly pop on the road pop up the road and I didn't see carefully I thought it was a snake or something okay this is just a walk in the park easy very easy this one is suitable for uh, everyone for anyone who wants to explore the nature and the vegetation of Singapore they also have a lot of kind of plants from Malaysia India and the other countries not only in uh, Singapore Hopefully there's no snake along the way because I have a special fear of the snake or python or anything like that. Oh gosh. There's a gecko in it. So it says that about 615 meters more there will be a, like a restaurant and things like that. This is a bamboo collection. Bamboos are giant grasses. Blah blah blah. Okay. And they are here. They should be very old. That's the reason why they have a lot of um, different colors. The yellow color instead of green, like I've seen it in Vietnam. They have a lot of size for bamboos as well. And a lot of kind of weird animals along the way. Sometimes just pop up on the road and you know, scare tourists. Now we're pretty tired already and now we're gonna find a place maybe just to have some drinks or food. Okay. Blah blah blah. Something. Okay, it's exactly the cellos. It's beautiful. Maybe we can take a beautiful photo over there. My wife is really a definition of photo lover. It is middle of the day now. It's uh, at noon. 12. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 
in here you also can call a taxi to come and pick you up or bring you here. Okay. It's gorgeous here. I love the greens and nature. I think this is the only place that Singaporean can get away in the town during the weekend or the spare time. Okay, there are two different ways. This is a smoke free garden, okay? But we are not going there. We are going to blah blah 200 meter, 250 meters more to get to the uh, visitor service. Okay, that's how they call it. Okay, from here I can hear the cicadas as well. Yeah, they are everywhere in the national park in Vietnam in all the Asian countries as well this is um, their uh, free uh, national park so you should go very scary. I'm afraid that uh, it's not going to attack us. Oh gosh, what he's doing? Okay, we've got to stay away from this one. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's looking for the food. Okay, I'm afraid that it's time to sit down. You now it's very surprised me because in the middle of the city, Singapore, you see a lot of vegetation which is very weird and you also see a lot of wild animals. You now, yeah, just fantastic. Okay, this is the policy of the garden. Okay, so before going to this one, we have to watch it uh, very carefully because there will be a fine up to $5,000. Okay, the weather today is pretty good. We had lunch uh, just now in the restaurant, which is inside uh, uh, the botanic garden, and the lunch is quite expensive. <coughs> so for three people, we spent uh, nearly seventy-five dollars, yeah, and the lunch was very simple. So you know, not everywhere the food is reasonable price. Okay. So the botanic garden is here. After lunch, we keep exploring the place by ourselves. Okay. Oh. Big trees. Okay, this is a fix or something. It's a fig tree. Okay. So, ah, yeah, the fix grow on the trunk often to. Prolific masses. Okay. 
This is a very uh, peaceful place that uh, if you want to read book or something, so you can come here. It's a hidden trail. It's a rainforest. Okay, I'm not sure it's safe. Okay, so in here it says that a lot of uh, wild animals in here. Yeah. So maybe we try to discover the place. And let's see if there's any wild animals inside. Hopefully you don't see any snake. I can't believe it because this is in the middle and just in the middle of the city, Singapore. Okay. And it's just like a real jungle. Okay, they should make some escalators here because almost everywhere in Singapore you can see the escalators but not for this one yesterday we came to a hill and the hill with the escalator so I don't know why they don't make an escalator here for tourists <laughs> I'm started being lazy now. a signpost okay it's a white gutter don't know what that is Okay, it's a rain forest, so now it started to rain already. Hopefully, the rain is not gonna be harder. So <coughs> Wow, this is amazing. It's just in the middle of the city. Can't believe it. Singapore Botanic Garden. This place is 100% free. 
but the drinks and food inside the botanic garden is a little bit steep so that I reckon is reasonable here along the way you definitely see a lot of the uh, signpost which is to show what is the name of the tree and what kind of animals does it have inside the garden okay but unfortunately i couldn't do the walk in the into the bush because this is um, all done by uh, the very nice pavement a nice walking path with concrete and wooden so there's no chance okay so this place has a lot of trees don't know what is it <laughs> so this is where we came and we walk all the way and now we're in the Oki Plaza so this area is the place that we had to buy the ticket but okay and now we walk all the way from here and then we're supposed to go to the Botany Garden MRT downtown line. That's where we are going back to our hotel. Yeah, initially I didn't know that, uh, mm. and I say that most of the place, and I say that everything in the Botany Garden is free, but no. Uh, when we came to the Orchid Gardens, uh, we've seen they have the ticket two different prices for locals and for the tourists as well so because in Sapa we have a lot of kind of orchids already so maybe uh, I'm not gonna make any video in that orchids gardens because orchids is a national flower in Singapore so that's the reason why it's something very nice and uh, yeah so people do pay tickets uh, for entrance okay so now we are heading to MRT station and we go back uh, to we are thinking about going back to um, um, the Marina Bay Sand that's where we'll be able to um, buy some uh, bubble tea Okay, the weather is changeable. Yeah, comes and goes very quickly. We never, we can never predict it. But it's okay. I love it. Botanic Gardens Melting Ice Ski Sinking Cities 